This is an advanced math question for competitive exams, but we can do it together. Welcome back to my channel. So we are asked to find the value of x in this particular equation. First of all, we let's note that 1 is the same thing as 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2, okay? And 5 is equal to 3 plus 2. So we are going to substitute that into this equation. So we have x plus 3 minus 2 raised to the power of 4 plus x plus 3 plus 2 raised to the power of 4 is equal to 32. So if you look very well, you see x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3. Okay? Now, you can see let x plus 3 be equal to m, all right? So, if we say that, that means we have m minus 2 here, raised to the power of 4 plus, here we have m plus 2, raised to the power of 4 is equal to 32. Now, 4 is 2 multiplied by 2. So we can write this as m minus 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 plus m plus 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 32. If this is the first time you are seeing us, please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we upload new video. Give us a thumbs up. If you love what you are doing, also correct us in the comment section. On the comment section, we will actually hit to your advice. Okay. So, remember that A raised to the power of M times N is equal to A to the power of N raised to the power of N. Okay. All right. So, we have... We have this to be m minus 2 raised to the power of 2 all squared plus m plus 2 raised to the power of 2 all squared is equal to 32. Okay? Now recall that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So looking at that, we are going to see that we can write this as m squared minus 2 multiplied by our a is m and our b is 2. Then plus b squared, that is 2 squared, all squared. Plus, so for this, we are going to get the same thing, except that this minus becomes plus, okay? So I'll just copy m squared plus 2 bracket m bracket 2 plus 2 squared, all squared. And everything is equal to 32. So this is equal to m squared minus 2 times 2 is 4. 4m plus 2 squared is 4. All squared. Plus, the same thing here, except that this becomes plus. m squared plus 4m plus 4. All squared. And everything is equal to 32. All right. Now we have m squared. Let's bring this 4 here. So we have m squared plus 4 minus 4m all squared plus here we have m squared plus 4 then plus 4m as well all squared and this is equal to 32 now if you look at this you can see that m squared plus 4 m squared plus 4 so we can simplify so we can say let m squared plus 4 be equal to a and 4m be equal to b. So 
so if we should make such statement then let me copy this remember that x plus 3 equals m so i will copy it somewhere i know you can't see it x plus 3 equals m so i will not forget so i want to clean this so that we continue from here so if we substitute this for a and that for b so we are going to have a minus b squared here so we have a minus b squared plus and here we will have a plus b all squared and everything is that too so i'm going to copy this to this part now a minus b all squared and um plus a plus b all squared is 32. now i'm going to also copy out this this particular equation so that i will not forget so i have m squared plus four like i said i know you cannot see is a and 4m is b so let us clean this part all right so now we have we open this bracket this will be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared plus this will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and this is 32 okay so we have minus ab and um, minus 2ab plus 2ab which will give us zero so we have a squared plus a squared so this and this will give us 2a squared and this and this will give us plus 2b squared is equal to 32 so we factorize 2, two from here so we have a squared plus b squared is equal to 32. So we divide both sides by 2 to remove this 2. Divided by 2, divided by 2. Now 2 we remove 2. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to 2. We divide 32 to give us 16. Okay. Now recall, I'm going to copy it from here. Recall when we said that a is equal to m squared plus 4 and b is equal to 4m. Okay? So, what we are going to do is, this is a squared, that is m squared plus 4, all squared. Alright? Plus, our b squared is this, 4m squared is equal to 16. So this will be m squared squared, opening our bracket, right? Then plus 2 multiplied by m squared multiplied by 4, right? Plus 4 squared. Then plus this will be 4 squared multiplied by m squared is equal to 16. So now we have m to the power of 4 plus this will be 8 m squared plus 4 squared which is 16 plus this is 16 m squared is equal to 16 since we have positive positive 16 positive 16 they are going to cancel out okay all right now we are left with m squared m to the power of 4 sorry plus 16m squared plus 8m squared is 24m squared is equal to 0. So here we can factorize m squared out. So we have m squared bracket. When this is divided by this, m squared remains. When this is divided by this, 24 remains. Is equal to 0. Now from here, we can see two things. Or we can see these two equations. Okay? Hope you have subscribed to the channel. Please do, okay? And tell us what you feel about us in the comments. All right. Now, at this point, we have that m squared is equal to 0 or that m squared plus 24 is equal to 0. So, from the first one, from here, you can see that m is equal to 0. All right? 
Then from the second one, we have m squared equals 24. So if we bring this to this side, we have m squared, sorry, m squared plus 24 is what we have there, is equal to 0. So we take this to this side and we have m squared is equal to minus 24. Now let's take square root of m squared and square root of minus 24. So if we do that, we have m is equal to, now minus 24 can be written as square root of 12 multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 1. So we have m is equal to square root, 12 is sentence as 4 multiplied by 3. So we now have multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 1. All right. Now, at this point, we have m to be equal to 4 square root of 4, now 3 times 2 is 6, 4 multiplied by 6, then multiplied by minus 1. So we have m is equal to, square root of 4 is what? 2. Now we have square root of 6, and we have square root of minus 1, which is i. Okay? Alright. But, but, recall, when we said x plus 3 is equal to m, right? Yeah, and because this is square root of this, this will be plus or minus 2 root 6i, okay? So we now have that we can replace this with this. Now we have the first value of m. The first value of m is 0. So when m is equal to 0, when m is equal to 0, so we're going to have 0 is equal to plus, sorry, <laughs> 0 is equal to x plus 3. x plus 3. So if we cross this here, we are, we are going to have that x is minus 3. That is going to be the first value of our m. Now, similarly, from here, our m is x plus 3. So we have x plus 3 is plus or minus 2 root 6i. Okay? Okay. So if we cross this, we'll have x. This is the first value of x. This will be the second and the third. will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2 root 6i. Thank you for watching.